man, it's Farmer Reef here. How's everybody doing? So today we're just going to talk about a little bit of the maintenance I like to do on uh, the Tons of Dock Skimmers 9012s. Um, I always empty uh, all the skimmer cups on Friday. So that's what I want to do. I want to show you uh, how much skim bait I get on there and how efficient they are. From my other previous videos, this is the, the Tons of Dock Skimmer Comb Line DC. This thing works great, guys. It only uses up uh, 17 uh, watts of power right out of the plug. The comb line uh, skimming surface. So what does this mean? Some corals that leave uh, oily substance comes off the corals and it stays on top of the water. So what it does, uh, the comb line will take the water in through all the micro bubbles and take that oil right out of there. Sometimes you have that oil skim across the top of the water surface. Uh, the light can't penetrate as easy, so that ends up clearing up your tank. I'm a big believer in having a skimmer on your tank. There's a lot of great uh, purposes what it's going to do. First off, what it'll do, it'll help regulate your pH. So what it's going to do is it's going to uh, aerate the water and take out any uh, carbon dioxide that's building up so it doesn't have that pH fluctuation. And like I said before, it'll take any oil out of the water coming off your corals. So it'll help uh, let the light uh, penetrate the water more easily. Um, it's going to take out all your fish waste. So those build up the proteins out in your water. Um, uneaten uh, frozen food that you place in your tank, it's going to suck that up so you don't get all that high phosphates and nitrates coming off all that food that you end up placing in your tank. Help uh, your redox reading as well. It'll take out any uh, disease causing organisms out of your water column, guys. So that's some of the beneficials of, for running a protein skimmer. It just keeps everything so aerated, keeps everything clean, keeps the water clean, and that's what it's all about so you'd be very more successful. So let's go down below. Let's check out the, the dock skimmer in action. And you guys can see uh, how much skim mate comes off of it. We'll pour it into the bucket. You guys can check it out. It's pretty nasty. So this is what I like to do on Fridays. All right, so here's our skimmer. So you guys can see how much skim mate is in it. That's about a week because I always clean it on Friday. But you guys can see how like, nasty brown and yellow and everything else, all those toxins and waste, fish waste that gets out of there or uneaten uh, frozen foods that just get mixed up. So I'll, here, I'll show you. So we got here. This is the, the controller, if you guys can see that. So this dial right here, it adjusts uh, the airflow that goes into the chamber. So you get that skim mate. And then this red button as well, if you push this, that shuts the, the protein skimmer down for 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, see how much skim mate we got in here. I'll just go lift, this is the collection cup. You take that off. So you guys can see all the micro bubbles right there. So it's perfect. And then, uh, we're gonna clean this right out. I don't want to show you. Look how nasty that is. As much as you don't. This thing's a beast of a skimmer. So easy, you just place that right back on here. Just like that. And then right here, this is where they do all the surface skimming. There's a little bit of a grill here. And then, you know, just, if you guys can see, see the foam starting at the top up there? So if I adjust the, the adjuster, for the airflow, we can turn it right up and then see how the bubbles are starting to come higher and higher. That's just by using uh, the airflow controller. See that? Nasty. So I'm going to turn it back down, get back to the perfect flow. What I like about this, because I have all three of them the same, is uh, if you check it over here, I'll show you guys closer, but they're all pretty much at the same level as skim me, all three skimmers, so you can tell how well efficient they're running. So let's go ahead, let's dump this. All right, so let's dump this skim mate. So you guys can see here. So I'm just gonna dump it. See that? Look how nasty it is. So there's one. Right there. So some people run it a wet skim made or a little bit thicker, I'm about in between. So I would usually, I take this out, I just wash and clean that all up. So you can just place that back in. But I wanna show you, I wanna move on to the other tank so I can show you the same, how much uh, skim made there is. Now we're over at uh, Tatawan, same thing. Same amount of skim made in here. As you guys can see, let's open up the top. So you guys can see the nasty brown same thing it's about the same level so running all three I can see this in here nasty again I'll have to clean those bit all nice after you guys can see this nasty 
So let's move on to uh, Krypton and check it out. So we're over here at Krypton, you guys can see pretty much about the same skim mate. So running three skimmers of the same kind, you can see how efficient and they're pulling at the same time. So let's uh, pour the skim mate out on this one. Same thing again, see how nasty that is? I don't know about you, if you weren't running this, would you want that in your tank? So we're gonna pull this one out. Make sure I got a hand on here. Anyway. Real chunky, this one. Place that back. So the skimmers are doing a really good job after a few months. They're really tuned in. And I like how I just feel like I can have that controller. I can tune how much uh, skim made I want. So that's what we got out of all three skimmers, guys. I don't know about you, but I can see a lot of benefits why you would want to run a skimmer. Would you want to have all this uh, fish waste, uneaten food in your tank? That could cause, you know, phosphates, nitrates, all kinds of stuff. The algae that you don't want growing in there, it outbreaks. So it's definitely a uh, benefit to be running a skimmer. Guys, so that's what I want to show you what's going on Friday. Maintenance on the, on the skimmers. So that's what we got. A lot of nasty uh, skim mate off the, the Dock Skimmers 9012 from Tunzee. Great, so I can't complain. So it's going really well. So just a little update to show you uh, how these have been tuned up and everything's been going well. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, same time, same place next week. You never know what video is coming up next again, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button.